Five products that I am loving right now for the over 50 woman, and there might be a few bonuses in here. Let's get into that video. Hello friends, I'm excited to be bringing you five products that I'm kind of obsessed with right now. I really am enjoying them. They're products that I may or may not have shown on my channel before. Some of them I probably have, but I want to kind of put a focus on them because they are that good. The other thing is that this video is a collaboration with Kathy, Kathy from Kathy Over 50. Kathy is a really sweet gal that approached me and asked me to do this collab with her. I had worked on another group collab with her and so she asked me if I'd team up and I said absolutely I'd love to do that so Kathy's channel is geared specifically to the over 50 woman if she has a lot of recommendations for high-end makeup she does tutorials she does get ready with me she does a lot of reviews i really appreciated her reviews during the nordstrom anniversary sale because i get a little bit lost when i start looking through nordstrom's things and i don't know what's good so i did appreciate that about her she has a great variety on her channel so i do hope that you go over and check out her content and give her some some love tell her that i sent you and hopefully subscribe to her i would really appreciate that now if you are over from kathy's channel to my channel i want to say a special welcome to you my name is melissa and i'm 53 years old and all of my content is geared towards the over 40 woman because i feel like once we hit 35 40 depending on what our circumstances are we have a different skin our skin is changing especially as we get into the menopause stage Age, and especially after that. So there are so many things that we have specific challenges of. I do a lot of drugstore videos. I do a ton of drugstore reviews and affordable makeup. I do have quite a bit of high end thrown in there and I do a lot of dupes. I love my dupes for high-end makeup. And if you're interested, I did put this video up on this makeup look right before this one, so I will make sure that I link that for you as well. I hope that you do enjoy seeing my five favorites and that if you are new, you will subscribe if you enjoy the content. If you're not new, you know how much I love you, and we're gonna get into this right now. So this product was recommended to me by a subscriber and I'm so glad that she did. This is the Milani No Pore Zone Mattifying Primer. This is your primer base before your foundation. It is a silicone base. So if you don't like that silicone or that little slip, you might not like this. But man, I have been noticing how beautiful this is under just about any foundation that I have. I have it on today. If you just press it into your pores, it almost makes your pores just disappear. It is just so great. It is um, not super thick, but it is a little bit thicker of a primer. It's not like the original Smashbox. It's just got a little bit thinner of a slip to it. And if you like a glowy or dewy look underneath your foundation, this one is definitely mattifying. You could mix in something luminous with it if you wanted to. I have found that it mixes really well with like my L'Oreal or my, um, I have a, a NYX one that has a glow in it, a liquid, liquid product that has a glow in it. And I mix them together and they work really good. But I love this for its blurring properties and I love how well it helps my makeup stay on because it creates that barrier between my moisturizer and my foundation. And you can see, hopefully, you can see how blurred out that hand is compared to this one that I didn't use it on. This is one of my very favorite things. All right, I'm putting on my glasses to figure out what these are called. These are from Do Care. I got these off of Amazon. This is a duo brush set and I am so enjoying these. I am loving these. I use both of these, this one right here, the fluffy one, and then the little bit more dense one. I use both of these to put on foundation. Just depends on whether I want, uh, you know, more heavy coverage or if I want lighter coverage, I'll use these. They're so good. You could do this one with powder if you wanted to. This one gets up underneath my eyes really well really nice. This side um, on the bigger one has an angle. It's a, you know, for blush. So you could go in with your contour or, you know, go ahead and do your blush with that one. Really like it. This one right here is a pointy 
a little bit stiffer but i like that and i'll tell you why because there are lots of times when i wear my hair up and you can see my hairline like you can today and i will take my contour that is a darker color and i will really really buff it in there and it really does a great job of you know going in there and getting kind of a little bit into the hair and disguising the line between your makeup and your scalp <laughs> which i love about it now it would be great to you know go ahead and you know do your contour as well well, these brushes are great. They're not very much. They're super soft. They have been very durable. I've washed them several times, not lost any fibers out of them or anything, any hairs out of them. They're really, really good. Now, along those lines is the next product. And that is the Sephora Solid Brush Cleaner. If you've never had these, they're like a soap. They sit down in there and this one is like almost used up. But here is what I love about them. So I'll take a brush like what I just showed you and I'll wet the brush and then I'll go in and I'll scrub it across this, right? But look right here in the lid. They give you a little scrubby pad in there. So then I'll just go under the water and I'm scrubbing that and it comes so clean so fast. And then what I do is I just lay the two out, you know, empty the water out of them, lay the two out, let them dry, and the next day put the lid on. This is slick. I was one that was scrubbing and scrubbing and scrubbing those brushes, but this is really fast and quick. And it's one that I'm really enjoying a whole, whole bunch. So if you've been struggling with finding the perfect thing for your brushes to clean them with, I finally have found something that is super easy because, you know, I have a lot of brushes being, you know, doing what I do for a living. I do have a lot of brushes. So when it comes time to clean them, this is fast and I really love it. Next product is the one I kind of cheated on. I've got three <laughs> from this brand. This is Kiko Milano and they recently, maybe last year, maybe six months ago, came to Ulta and then they came out with this little collection very recently. Let me grab my glasses so I know exactly exactly what I'm telling you. The collection is called Charming Escape. First of all, I don't know if you can see or not this embossing that is on the top of these, but this packaging is so much fun. It's got embossed like flowers and leaves on there. And then they have the Kiko Milano symbol down here. And then this particular one is the Silky Highlighter in Sunrise Apricot 02. And it comes embossed itself, which is so much fun. But man, this is a silky, oh my gosh, all of these products I have been so impressed with. This is super silky, but it does not deposit a ton on your skin. It's not super hyper glowy. For me, this is beautiful because it, on mature skin, sometimes highlighters can really show up a ton of texture not this. It's really pretty. Let me grab that brush. I was just talking about the blush one. I'm going to go down in here and I'm going to just very lightly go across. I already have kind of a lot of beam on here, but I'm just going to kind of really lightly go across my cheeks and you can see how pretty that highlighter is. It's so beautiful. It's a fairly big compact too. It's got a nice mirror in it, very sturdy packaging. I am in love with this line and now that I've tried it. The next one is the bronzer and this one is super silky and creamy as well. This one is in Unique Sienna. I really struggled with this because I don't normally like bronzers because they are way too orange. This one has a lot of red in it and I think it's so nice. Again, as I stick my finger in here, very silky product. It goes on super lightly so you can really buff it out. You're not going to have something that's going to be super stark. So you can really buff that out. And you, I'm sorry, I've got a dark spot right there on my hand where my veins come together. So it's looking weird, but it is a beautiful product. And on my face as a bronzer, it doesn't turn super orange. It turns that reddish color that if you are somebody that has a cooler undertone, sometimes you need that reddish color. So this one was really pretty as well. And then the last one I have is the Blush. And I do apologize because I think this is sold out at Ulta, but it is on their website. And this one is Rose Garden from that collection. Look at how cute that little embossing is on there. All of their stuff is embossed. It looks so high end and yet the price tag isn't super, super high. This is a satin blush. It's got a tiny bit of sheen to it. Look at how saturated that is. It's so pretty. I 
think that this line is one that I'm going to be exploring a lot. I think that because of how impressed I've been with this particular few things that I've gotten that I'm going to be trying a lot more. And this is the blush, just a tiny bit on here. I already have enough on. I don't need to be putting too much more on, but it's just very pretty and very soft. And I really love how all of these products blend out and how buttery they are. I'm so impressed by that. So if you're a mature woman that has texture and you have a problem with that, you might really like these. Last product again, I'm cheating. <laughs> And there's a reason. The first one that I'm going to show you is from, this is from Revisions Skincare. This is the Youthful Lip Replenisher. This is basically a lip mask. It is so hydrating. You can wear this any time of day, but what I'm using this as is a treatment in the morning and at night. And this is lovely. It does have a tiny, tiny bit of a cooling effect, but not a lot. It has a little applicator on here that um, is very easy to use. And then, you know, you just squeeze out however much product you need. And it is um, shiny. So that's nice to have too, you know, if you're using it over a lipstick, which you can do, you can use it all day long if you want to. This is super duper hydrating. And I use it as I'm done with my skincare in the morning and ready, you know, to getting ready to put my makeup on because it plumps up all of those vertical lines that that I have and it's been a beautiful treatment for me. It's chock full of antioxidants as well, which helps protect your lips during the day against free radicals, which is what causes us to age, is all the junky stuff that hits our skin from pollution. I wanna tell you that even though I have been loving this and I probably will pick this up again, I still, my City Beauty, I, I have to go back to that because this, I, can, I know how good this works. This just works so well. The City Beauty City Lips and the gloss one, it is amazing, amazing treatment for your lips. I wanted to show you the revisions because I do feel like it's a beautiful mask. I do feel like it's doing some great things, but in the end, the City Beauty is still the winner and they have a bunch of colors, but I would suggest if you're gonna use it as a mask at night, just get the clear one, which goes on sale all the time. If you aren't following me over on Instagram, I always post that sale or any sale that City Beauty has because I love their skincare line as well. But when I put this on, I instantly feel my lips get plumper. I believe this one is, um, little, can't see without my glasses. Hold on. Uh, this one is Tinseltown and it's just got a little tiny bit of shimmer in it. It's the most lovely feeling lip product I think I've ever used. I feel like my lips have been so much improved the longer that I use this, but revisions, if you can't get city lips somewhere and you can get revisions or vice versa, they're both so good and they've been doing my lips just fantastic things. I have really bad lines. My lips are just, they're not great. And I would love to have a little bit of filler put in there, but shoot baby, at $700, I ain't gonna touch these lips. <laughs> Those are things that I'm absolutely loving at the moment and I'm not putting down. I seem to just be reaching for them constantly. And I hope that you did enjoy the video. If you are new here, please consider subscribing. And if you are one of my subscribers that have been here for a while, go over and check out Kathy, please, and show her some love and tell her that I sent you. Thanks everybody for being with me. I appreciate your support more than you will ever know. I hope that you're having a wonderful day. Please stay healthy and happy. And I will catch you all, hopefully, in my next video. And I love you much. Bye friends.